Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are watching the station identification of one of Whalen City's resident YouTubers. Live in the basement, this is not MTV's remote control, and he is not Ken Ober, God rest Ken Ober's soul. This is WEML-TV, Channel 77, and now here's your host, New Bedford, Massachusetts' own Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer. Hey, it's Eric Lima here. You are watching another uh, um, episode of, of WEML TV, Channel 77. Not only is my show, but it's also my YouTube channel, my secondary YouTube channel. It's my channel handle. There you go, my channel handle. <laughs> I'm Eric Lima. What's going on, everybody? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful, awesome day. Um, hope your day is going well. Well, I could, um, as you know, I'm roading up. That's what it's going to be the call. It's a new, se new segment I'm calling on the show. I know I did the first two episodes on the road, but I figured, why not have a new segment called Roading Up? That means I'll be, well, I'll be doing episodes on the road, so to speak. So if I'm going from work or going to, or, or coming home from church or, go, or coming home from work and all that, here I am. All right. So that's what. So I'm, and it's a good thing too. I have a new. Um, I have a new phone holder, which uh, basically, uh, basically can hold the phone off the rear view mirror. I think the only downside is sometimes your phone can be very heavy to the point where um, where it will start moving your, uh, you know, start moving the rear view mirror. You're going to have to move everything while it's going through bumps and, and all that good stuff. So. So that's what we call from now on. It'll be called Roading Up. And I'm going to try to make a thumbnail uh, preferring to Roading Up. What's going on, everybody? Just got out of work not too long ago. Uh, heading uh, from Walmart. So I, I picked up a couple of ingredients from Walmart to whip, have me whip up something that I haven't had in, in possibly years. So the last time I tasted this food, it'll be macaroni and cheese. That's right. I ordered Kraft. I did the five pack thing. I ordered craft. I got some milk. I got some butter. That's right, butter. So I'm gonna, so I can cook up, cook up some macaroni and cheese today. That's what I'm gonna do. I think I have a couple of bowls at home. I'm gonna find them and clean them out, and then, uh, and then work in there. I'm hoping that my, hoping there's a strainer, so I can drain out the water from the macaroni after boiling it and stuff. I'm softening up the macaroni when I do get home. So. So, it's been a crazy week for me. Uh, last week has been too nuts. And I'm just glad it's over and we're here on a new week. Uh, it's supposed to, it was supposed to rain today. In fact, it was supposed to rain scattered thunderstorms at, uh, at 9 o'clock in the morning. But, but fortunately, there's a little bit of sun out right now. And there was some dark clouds overhead. I don't know. If the uh, storm actually missed us, or you know, or it's coming later on in the afternoon, I really don't know. Uh, yeah, so I'm taking a, a like a scenic route home. Uh, what I do is, uh, when I get out of work, I usually head west of the mall, and you know, usually I stop at either Walmart or Target. And uh, all right, I better uh, get be careful here because. There's a truck up ahead here with the uh, equipment and thing. I need to go zooming inside the thing and go, hey, is this Knight Rider? <laughs> I wish I had a kit or car. You know, it will, the, only thing, the, only thing, the only thing stunk about Knight Rider is this one. I kind of wish they turned car good so that way, you know, and have Michael Knight have a sidekick, so to speak, or a partner to um, have car, kit and car can work together and re have like part car can come back and be reprogrammed. And, and fight for justice and fight for the foundation of law and government. You know, that would be really cool. And have uh, Kit saying, you know, he'll be considered Kit his brother or something like that. That would have been really cool. But, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. it's sad they didn't do that part. But, anyways, I still love Knight Rider. So that's the only thing, you know, kind of like, you know, Car and Kit would have been great together. Um, uh, just, uh, yeah, we, we are uh, on the, uh, here I am on the way home. 
and so you should head west, you should stop by Walmart or Target if I want something. But then, um, I go here on Hicksville Road in Dartmouth and then Reed Road. I'm on Reed Road and then I go all Fall River Road and that will lead me back to, you know, that will lead me to uh, Fonts Corner and all that good stuff. I, I like taking the scenic ground home so I can take a long time. Plus I can do something like this, you know, do, do a YouTube video and that's going to be really, really cool. So it's going to be called Roading Up, all right? So I'm going to change the other two and I'll probably do a new thumbnail and you, you probably, you're probably going to like it. Roading up. Roading up, baby. Roading up. That's going to be totally cool. Roading up. <laughs> yep, so, uh, and this is episode 388 of the show, I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Well, uh, tomorrow, uh, also later on, in another episode that will be upcoming when I get home, I want to do the Money in the Bank uh, event center, but I got to go, go back for a couple of um, segments that I missed because Peacock was glitching. I don't know if anybody else had the problem. I know I had the problem. And the thing is that uh, the WWE says Peacock found the problem. All you need to do is go back out and uh, come back in again. So that's why I did that. And so Brandon Martin asked me to come in. And I was like not in the mood. I was like too much stuff going on. But then I calmed down after. And I said I'll be coming in. So we joked around with Jordan Little and all that. And Brandon Martin. And, da and Dante. So Dante Pittman. So yeah we watch a lot of wrestling man. It was, it was really cool. It was insane. And I'll tell you, what, it's going to, ever since the crowd's coming back, but the WWE is picking, kicking it up a notch. And, and I'll tell you one day, it started Friday night on SmackDown. Last night, continued on last night, Money in the Bank. And tonight on Raw. It's going to be very interesting. And let's just say a returning superstar will kick off Monday Night Raw. I'm not going to tell you who that person is because on the next episode, when I do the Money in the Bank results, I will tell you who. Who that individual is? I think y'all know by now who that individual is. Let's just say this: that uh, let's say this. He's a little bit of fast and furious, so to speak. Uh, that's a little bit of hints, and you're probably gonna know who it is already. And uh, because there's, there's a special meme out there for him, so uh, I can't wait to see what he has to say tomorrow night, uh, tonight on Raw. It's gonna be insane. Let me tell you. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're almost done. Uh, see, we're traveling. We're traveling pretty good here. Unbelievable, right? So this is just totally awesome. This phone holder for the rear view mirror only cost me five bucks. Bought it at Walmart. I thought it was so simple. Oh, I mean, I bought it like a few days ago, and I'm trying to adjust, still trying to adjust it and, and everything like that. So it's going to be pretty good. And uh, if you, excuse, uh, forgive me for looking down like this because I'm trying to look in the rear view mirror. That way, I can see what's going on. You know, I don't want to be slouching down and looking up. And uh, a truck is up, probably going to his own. An alpaca field, a farm stand. Alpacas. You know, you know like a little llamas that look Cusco. I can't believe they keep them as pets, though. That's weird, isn't it? You know, they're, like, they're like exotic animals, so to speak, you know. And, uh, yeah, uh, Pop, my friend Poppy added to the story. It was great seeing her at the festival. I'll tell you what, it has been totally insane, don't you think? It's gonna be, it's really cool, really cool, you know. So, uh, yeah, so a lot of craziness. I'm hoping Dotemu and Nintendo finally uh, clear up the um, DLC debacle for the Nintendo Switch. So here's what happened. Thursday, the, the Streets of Rage 4 Mr. X Nightmare DLC pack was supposed to come out this past Thursday. And it's supposed to be available on all platforms, including the Switch. So when 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 all of us who are Switch owners went to go purchase the uh, the DLC pack, we weren't able to purchase it. I say, hey, what's going on here? So, anyways, um, you guys want to go and all that? So I say, hey, what's going on? So so they said, okay, uh, we're running into a problem here. It's going to be a bit of a delay. Um, Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get we'll straighten it out and get it to you in a few days. Okay, no problem. But you know, I was we were all some of us were all upset about it because because a lot of us go you know a lot of us believe in like the customer you know comes first and always and just, or you know customers always right and truth in advertising and all that and I was a little upset about it at first so I was really really really, really irrational on Twitter about it. 
but you know, people tell me to calm down. You know, like, you know, we when we get angry, you know, don't tell us how how to, how to react. You know, you don't control emotions, feelings, and crap like that. So, anyways, uh, so we were upset. We were kind of upset about. It. I was kind of upset about it, but then I just realized, hey, wait a minute. You know, earlier in the week, um, Nintendo was uh, promoting a new Switch that is about to make an appearance called the Nintendo Switch OLED. OLED, that's all I call them. And it's supposed to come out in October. So, so I think Nintendo was too busy promoting that or trying uh, advertising about that. Say, hey, it's coming out. To the point where they probably forgot about Dutemu telling them, hey, uh, we have a DLC pack we'd like for you to validate before validate for the eShop and Nintendo probably forgot all about it and a lot of folks you know are upset with Nintendo for it but you know that's how businesses work sometimes but hopefully we get it and then once once we do I'll probably do a little speech for you I do apologize speaking of video games I do apologize for not bringing uh, a Saturday Superstar Cade um, episode because I had we had I had issues with my the washer in the cellar it was not working at all it worked for my for the first two loads it worked and then the final and then and then for my final load the hangout clothes load um, it did not work so I had to message my parents at two two fifteen in Sunday morning two fifty in the fifteen in the morning so I couldn't get any sleep I was concerned about not getting any clothes and all that good stuff so they so my father tried fixing it and then it shut off so it's a control something's wrong with the control panel but luckily for for me we have. A, we have um, a, a washer upstairs. The dryer works and the cellar works. It's, it's the washer upstairs that, that was not working. Well, what? No, the washer downstairs that was not working. Down cellar that was not working. Hopefully, Dad will get that fixed up what, uh, soon. So, my father will probably get it fixed up soon. Because it is something wrong with the control panel and, and all that good stuff and all that jazz and all that. So. So right now we're on all fall, all fall River Road, and I'll do I'll, I'll probably do a, a Crazy Man karaoke series one of these days, you know. But you know, like I said, my main concern is the copyrights and all that good stuff. And uh, you know, it, it was never my intention to say all oh, the song is mine or anything. I just like singing along with the songs I grew up with, I grew up in the '80s, '90s, and all that good stuff. So, um, so there's that. Um, what else is there? Uh, the Red Sox um, lost two out of three against the Yankees. I mean, the the weather had something to do. The what I, the weather really threw the Red Sox off that momentum. So it, it was going to be a very very tough series this time around. And there was a crazy a couple of crazy situations that happened in Major League Baseball. One in particular was the uh, one one in particular was the. Uh, um, the incident with Alex Verdugo, what happened was he was trying to hand a baseball to a young Red Sox fan, to a young ch child who was wearing a, probably the Red Sox fan, and some douchebag Yankee fan grabbed the ball, intercepted it from the kid, and threw it back, and hit, Ver as Alex Verdugo was turning around, he probably did not know, and then threw it back and hit him in the back, probably the back of the neck or something like that. And Alex Verdugo was not very happy about that. He started something with the fans. The, fan, the Yankee fans started taunting him a little bit. And then he started pointing them out. Pointing the kid, the kid out, that the person out that threw the ball. And so that individual has been ejected. And Yankee Stadium originally banned him for life from Yankee Stadium. But then the Major League, Major League Baseball kicked it up a notch. Banned him for life from all 30 stadiums. And possibly that's a good thing to do, and I'll tell you why. One, you won't do something like that again, and two, he was, uh, you know, it would be for his safety, especially from Fenway Park, because if that kid set foot in Fenway Park, there'll be people, there'll be beating the people beating the crap out of him. That's how I think it's really, really bad. You know, that's how bad it, it is going to be, and believe me, it's, it is not going to be a pretty sight. So possibly for the kid's safety, so he's been banned. Don't we don't know his name? And I don't think they'll release his name, and I'll tell you why. Because if you if you go if he's if he's on top of the internet, if he's all over the internet, then people will be on his case, especially in Boston. 
So, and Alice Verdugo always tries to interact with fans, try to you know, be a, 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 a people's player and all that, but then a few bad apples could ruin that for somebody like him. Somebody like uh, uh, for that young fan there, and unfortunately, that's how it is. Um, it is a sad, sad state of affairs, you know. And I, I do feel bad for for Verdugo and for that young Red Sox fan. While he was visiting, you know, you know while he lived in New York as a Sox fan growing up, and. I just can't believe that person would do such a thing, you know. And uh, we, we've we seen adults trying to uh, intercept uh, balls from kids and all that. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm hoping for somebody to let me go here. Okay, that car's turning left. So I'm turning right. And, and I'm turning left, I should say. That car's turning left and I'm turning left. So anyways, so that is... Um, and there was a huge shooting that happened outside of Nationals Park between uh, in it during a game between the San Diego Padres and the Washington Nationals. And security, I think, security and police were telling, informing the umpires of what was going on. And the PA, everybody told every uh, PA announcer told everybody to stay inside. So that's what happened. And it was totally crazy. You know what I mean? Um, It's, I'll tell you what, it is surreal. It is surreal what the, in the days we're living in, man. You know what I mean? And it's, you know, uh, there we go. It is surreal in the days we're living in. And, um, you know, it, it, it is quite the craziness. And I'm hoping that, you know, people need to be better. People need to act better and all that. I think social media and the internet has really changed us as a whole. You know, it's changed a lot of us in a negative way, and I uh, changed a, a lot of us in a positive way. I mean, yeah, we can use the internet for good and all that, but then, you know, it sours us sometimes. You know, and we have to be very, very careful how we feel. You know, it's just, it is tough. It is tough, and um, and it's it's insane. Let me tell you, it is insane. The way it goes in this world is. This world's gone crazy, man. So, and we're almost home, folks. We're almost home. I'm almost home, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm almost home. Here we go. And a little turn here, and a little turn here, and a little turn there. Oh, McDonald had a farm. E I E I. Oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> and, uh, Whoa. All right, and we are about under a oh, we're under a bridge. I mean, we're not that far from up. And uh, so, oh, oh, green light! Yay! I got a green light. I got a green. I got a greenie. I got a greenie going up the street here, and here we go. All right, and as we conclude this video. Um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in and uh, watching this video. If you, watch this, if you like this video or any other videos um, or any of the videos on my channel, please uh, give it a, a like and a subscribe and all that good stuff. If you want to dislike it as well, that's fine. Um, so, my fire insurance on. What the heck is going on? Right. So, uh, I'm going to be heading home now and I'll be seeing you guys later. Remember, next episode, Money in the Bank results. I'll tell you who that individual that I'm talking about. Y'all know who it is by now. If you don't know who it is by now, you're crazy. All right? Then you missed out. All right? I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Peace, love, bless out.